Hello, peers. My name is Jim Raley, and I had the unique pleasure of working with a very special lady during my tenure at the Office of Consumer Advocates in Hagerstown for four and a half years. Mary Beth Twig is indeed a role model, a person who cares, a peer who really gets it, and a peer who worked tirelessly to help others. I met Mary Beth in September of 2014 when I assumed the new role as the Executive Director at the Office of Consumer Advocates. I know there was some nervousness on her part because she wondered, who is this new boss? What's he all about? But I can tell you right now, Mary Beth, I know you learned from me and I can tell you I learned from you. It was unbelievable the relationship that we had in doing the work that we were doing. I really, really didn't totally understand what I was doing when I first got there, but I quickly learned from Mary Beth the role and the advocacy that our organization and the role that we played in the lives of other people. Mary Beth worked tirelessly to get people Social Security disability benefits. She worked to get them housing. She worked to get them SNAP benefits. She did not know the word no. When you ask Mary Beth to do something, she would do it graciously and meticulously. Her work was always thorough, and I can tell you that she worked very, very hard for people for many, many years and will continue to do so. Just because she's in a new role does not mean that she's not a peer. I actually saw an, a, a piece on Facebook the other night where someone was looking for someone as a peer and an advocate in Western Maryland and especially Allegheny County. Mary Beth was one of the first peer, people to respond to that Facebook post saying, me. Yes, that's her. Mary Beth is always out there helping. I know she has spent probably 600,000 miles, I calculate, driving up and down the road between Cumberland and Hagerstown to do the work that she did. She's filed hundreds of Social Security claims. She's filed hundreds and hundreds of, social, of applications for housing. So with all that, you find Mary Beth to be a true advocate, a person who works very, very hard, and a person who's very, very fitting and deserving of the Gus Restasis Award for exemplary service. I'm sorry, Mary Beth, that we're not in Ocean City together to see you accept your award at the dinner, but I certainly know that we'll be together soon and I know that we'll all be able to enjoy one another's company very, very soon. So hats off to you, Mary Beth. Hats off to all the peers out there who work very tirelessly each and every day to help others. God bless. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all having a really great conference. Um, I want to thank Jim for the beautiful introduction. You made me cry again, Jim, but thanks. <laughs> Um, receiving an award named after Gus is an awesome honor. He was an amazing man, and I'm honored to get this award. I love what I do. I, I, it's my passion, and I, I thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. You guys have a great day, and thank you.